Hello everybody, this is Richard Cespedes, and uh, I want to uh, make a video about um, talking about my idea of uh, um, how to fight off diseases and sickness with the power of uh, your thoughts. And just being able to just have the will to stay um, centered and strong. Uh, what, what, one example was when I was um, young, I never got sick when I was young. Um, I got sick when I was younger in my uh when I was a kid, you know, five, seven, ten years old, but when I got older to thirteen, fifteen and and a little bit through my twenties, um I always had a, a good mindset on how to fight off uh colds, simple colds, coughs, sneezing, sore throats. And the only time that I ever got sick was the only time that I ever got sick was when I um when I was not in a proper mindset of my own uh, uh, focus of my own health, you know, and, and and it's not hard, you know, it's just um, it's just like I said, the the will to just to just um, suppress sickness, and it's like uh, like suppress is not a good word to use, but it's like if you do get sick, you do not show the symptoms of your sickness, and because of your will and your belief that you do not want to be sick you suppress it and eventually in a short time it dissipates and it goes away and um, what I want to talk specifically is uh, how to fight off like uh, big huge diseases like cancer or AIDS or things like that and I believe that uh, because of one of the videos that I uploaded it showed um, these Chinese people in China Carrying a woman that had a um, a tumor in her belly or somewhere, maybe like in her uterus wall or something, and uh, it was inoperable. And these doctors just used um, a chant. They're chanting. They use their mental energy. They use their positive feeling and vibes. You know, they use their chi, which is anything. What chi is almost anything, almost all energy that you give off. That's what chi is. Or thoughts or anything like that and they there was five or four nurses and two doctors two nurses sitting around this person and and they had a monitor that showed um, the before and after the process of it shrinking within three minutes of just chanting and believing that they wanted it to go away uh, and the person was cured and it was in China I think it was like I think the video was like a few maybe like a decade and a half old or two decades and a half old maybe more maybe it's in the 70s or in the 80s or early 90s somewhere around there but um, what I want to say is that uh, you have the power to uh, fight off any disease any sickness with just the power and will of your mind um, it's kinda hard to describe how to go about it it's just just having the will of steel um, strength in yourself to uh, having your upper having your mind to be enlightened in a state where you're above you're above any anything that you believe is feeble that can affect you negatively you know it's like a it's like a sense of superiority but without ego it's a sense of superiority to be above um, the current state of the situation of the era you know um, metaphorically speaking like trying to be above the state of of your problems at home trying to be above the states the negative states of of your workplace trying to be above the state of of uh, of um, your bad relationship or you're a child trying to be mentally above the state and superior above the state of anything that's bringing you down emotionally and you can interpret that uh, to help you in terms of how to uh, to fight away fight and prevent sicknesses you can think of sicknesses as feeble things as negative states of mind almost the same as when a person um, tries to hurt your feelings or physically harm you or verbally attack you you can you can you can use that technique of how you would to be above the state of, of situation socially to help you in terms of how you can fight off sicknesses, colds, and diseases internally. To be above the state of what doctors say, you know that doctors say that you, there's always a flu every season 
Every winter there's a cold flu. Well, you could be above that. You don't need to take shots. Be above mentally. Be superior. Have a have a superiority and and mental strength over the situation emotionally. No, even when the winter comes, you're above that. You're trying to numb yourself from the external negativity and trying to wash away the negative thoughts of what the media tells you of what sickness is, that there's no way to avoid it. You know, they try to tell us there's no way that you can avoid um, the common cold. It's always going to attack you. There's no way that you can fight off um, eczema or, or um, you could fight off, um, you know, um, um, any form of sickness, anything, you know, that, that the doctors try to throw at you, you know that uh, you, you have to just awaken yourself, strengthen yourself, you know, like a muscle, you strengthen yourself, you know, you're always in a state of positive thinking, you're above mentally and emotionally, you're superior, above all the feeble things that are happening below you, you're above all that, all the bickering and all the pettiness and all the ugliness that people throw at each other socially, and you can interpret that and you can use that in terms of the sicknesses, the viruses that try to go in you and try to make you sick. You're above that. You know, just by having the will to just say, no, I'm not going to get sick. Just to have the feeling of, no, no, I'm not sick. I'm not sick. I'm not going to be sick. And I'm above this. And I'm stronger than this. You have the will. It's kind of hard to interpret how to develop a technique internally because it's, it's, a, it's a quora. You know, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's like a only you as an individual can understand it. It's like trying to interpret um, colors to a blind person. You know, you try to describe purple or red or green, but you can't describe it in detail enough that would give it a definitive shape or form or distinction of anything else. Because you know, it, it's a quora. It's it's only it it only exists and makes sense to you as an individual. You know. And you have to find that within yourself. And that's the same thing with telekinesis and everything else. A telekinesis ability, no one knows exactly how others perform it or are able to execute these things. But um, because they have to venture within themselves to discover how they find the strength to perform these tasks, telekinesis tasks, and have psychic abilities. It's a power for every individual. But along the way, of course, you kind of get uh, uh, assumptions and hints and get kind of okay well now I kind of understand maybe he feels what I'm feeling and thinking when I'm feeling when I'm doing it and most of the time it's right and it no longer becomes a quarrel you know uh, that, that that's the that, that's the cool thing about it but um, cancer I, even if you have cancer or you have a tumor in your stomach or anything else your own mental will of your belief your own positivity your own strength your will to be above it you have to awaken like what one way that I could say to you is like, like um, try to remember when you were a kid and you got an A plus by solving a math math problem, math quiz. You have this feeling of butterflies and excitement. You know, you have to, you just like I said, you have to provoke. You have to awaken your internal emotions and awaken the slumber of your quote unquote nothingness of your life. Awaken yourself, even if there's nothing really positive happening. Awaken joy. Awaken your own joy. You know, even if you're stuck in a jail, even if you're in a situation, negative situation, like I said, you have to awaken your own spiritual uh, enlightenment. Feel joy. Even in a position of sadness, even in a situation of sadness, feel joy. Be above that. Have your mind above things, but in a respectful, humble manner that does not show any um, conflict or disrespect to others. You know, it has to be a proper proper balance when you do it. I'm not saying to, to laugh or smile at a funeral. I'm saying to to just to just um always be above things that bring you down. What what I've come to believe and um to realize is that you could you could utilize all the negative feelings of sadness and use that and reverse it and bring it to be more higher. You know, what brings you down the worst, you can then flip that around and regenerate it to bring you up the highest you know what's total negative could bring you to total positive all the negative feelings and the hurt feelings and everything like that reverse it and just bring it out of you and that's how you become above sickness you can cure yourself with cancer any anywhere in the body you can you can prevent it anywhere in the body you can prevent sicknesses you can prevent um um anything 
any form of disease that 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 science says that we can't cure without medicine or, or surgery you know you you have to awaken your own you have to awaken your own inner so soldier to be above to be strengthened and to be superior above it have a form of enlightenment and joy awaken your joy awaken the state of superiority and joy above anything that's negative have that thought of no I will not be sick I'm above it suppress the sickness and the sickness will um, evaporate and deteriorate away and you'll find that you'll never get sick again and even when you do have a disease you have to be self strengthened you know because a lot of times um, it's like a, a placebo effect when people when people see things on TV they say oh well do you have symptoms of sore throat do you have the symptoms of headaches in the morning well then you might have this and the people kind of they say well you know what I do have sore throat and I kind of feel like I do have a headache so it's like a placebo it's like a it's like they get they get manipulated and tricked to believe and so they say oh no I don't feel so good my bones are achy oh and and that's the same thing with cancer you know they they want you to believe that once you have cancer once a doctor says you have cancer your spirit is broken and your body and then then you then you start to believe in the in the physical in in normalities the physical sickness you feel this physical you know you don't have to believe in it because you could be above what they tell you is the symptoms be above the symptoms don't follow the story the theatrics because all of it is just theatrics they want you to 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 um believe in the symptoms and believe in the joint pain they want you to be sick you're creating your own sickness by following the theatrics of the storyline of what the symptoms are and what the labels and medicines say you most of the time we create our own sickness we make our own selves sick you know it's our own fault sometimes and we can rise up and above that and toss away that foolishness of what they try to interpret you know we have to find the the superiority to rise above uh, because we're just kind of slouching around and walking around in this muck of and we have to find a way to get ourselves out because we're just following the leader we're all follow oh, I mean yeah we're following the leader we're not follow we're not followers we're not leaders we're following the leader and so we're being manipulated to feel as though we're sick when we're not and then by by osmosis and by craziness we end up being sick we end up uh, believing that we have the symptoms of cancer and then we end up having cancer because we manifest it into reality we manifest our own sicknesses and our own diseases into reality we manifest the cancer to reality because of our own lower positivity we don't have no strength and no positive strength we're all in a lower state of human um, enlightenment you have to rise above that, that rise above all that this Ricky Cespedes, is and we can cure ourselves from all diseases it might seem outlandish but this is real thank you very much Ricky Cespedes.